Teachers across Kentucky are anxiously waiting to see how lawmakers address the limited NTI days districts are given this school year. Right now, the limit is 10. That's expected to be discussed in a special session that Governor Bashir could call any day now. Chad Hedrick talked to a Rowan County teacher who was also on the Kentucky Board of Education. She tells us what teachers would like to see as they face new challenges in the classroom. Classrooms in Kentucky are sitting empty after many districts have had to either switch to non-traditional instruction or just close altogether because so many students and staff are quarantined with COVID. In our district, we've not seen as much of a disruption um, as we have in some other districts. We've been very lucky, but now that could change tomorrow. Allison Sloan is a teacher in Rowan County. She's also on the Kentucky Board of Education. She says teachers are worried about students already falling behind because in many districts, in-person learning keeps getting interrupted. Well, when a school has to make those decisions, they have to decide, do we go ahead and use those days and try to teach from, you know, virtually and use those NTI days or do we just take days off? During the regular session earlier this year, Kentucky lawmakers capped NTI days at 10 per district. At the time, educators were hopeful that would be enough. We really hope that that's, you know, we could kind of go back to some normal, as I said earlier, and that was all that would be needed. Um, and we're seeing now that we need more than that. Right now, Governor Bashir and legislative leaders are ironing out what should take precedence in a special session. Thursday, the governor saying NTI days should be on the to do list. And we all know what we have in place right now in enough, right? Because all these schools are coming offline and they're just saying they'll tack on days at the end of the year. You know, so that's not workable. Our teachers want to teach whatever method, whatever way that they can do it. They want to make sure that the learning process continues for our students. Working to keep students learning, however and wherever that may be. Probably. And today, Governor Bashir said there should be flexibility for individual schools when it comes to NTI, perhaps just having one school go virtual while the rest of the district stays in person. He says overall, he doesn't think there's a lot of disagreement on this topic, just people taking different routes to get there. In the newsroom, Chad Hedrick, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. All right, Chad, thank you. Allison says she hopes that lawmakers leave the mask mandate issued by KBE alone for now. She told Chad that teachers are concerned if masking becomes more of a choice, it would cause cases in schools to surge.